I've got a laptop uh, for a friend, uh, it's a Lenovo IdeaPad 3, uh, about four years old, uh, and uh, she needs the hard drive upgraded and also the RAM. This is an interesting uh, laptop in the sense that uh, I see only one eight gigabyte uh, RAM installed, but uh, the total RAM in Windows shows up as 12 gigabytes. So must have four gigabytes soldered. Uh, so I thought uh, this is an opportunity to get an offline cloner for, for the M.2 NVMe SSDs and here is what I got. It's from Sabrent. Uh, the model number is EC-SSD2. So it's got two slots and supposedly I should be able to clone it uh, without using a PC. It should be faster. Let's open this up. Small box, but it's got some weight to it. Oh, this is pretty heavy. Oh, wow. Looks like this is fully aluminum. Open. Oops, still less. That's what they promised on the box. So two SSD slots. Power button, DC 5 volt and type C to connect to PC. Oh, here is the clone button, A and B. A and B, okay. What else is in the box? USB-C to USB-C cable. USB-C to USB-A cable, power adapter. So the M.2 retaining tabs. Spread the love online. Hmm. Okay. And a manual. So I followed the manual, and uh, this is the source drive in the A slot, target drive in the B slot. I'm gonna put the cover back on this. And now I can, should be able to plug the power in, turn it on. It is on. And I need to push and hold the clone button for like three seconds. Start flushing, letting go of the button. I'm gonna keep an eye on it for how long it takes approximately and let it do the job. There is a fan inside, and it has to be a small fan, so it's pretty loud actually. Can you hear it? All right, so according to the manual, now that all four status lights are solid, uh, cloning is complete. It took 19 minutes, but um, the first 25% took 7 minutes, 25 to 50 took 5, 50 to 75 took five and 75 to 100 percent took two minutes um, the manual states that um, it'll mainly depend on the size of the drives and more specifically on them on and size of small files that is the time to do the clone my source ssd is 256 gigabyte with only 500 megabytes free on it and the target ssd is a one terabyte one now, um, do I turn it off? 
it doesn't say that I should be able to turn it off and um, I guess let's find out moment of truth if uh, this worked or not so the cloning actually uh, worked as expected perfectly um, no surprises there uh, when I plug it in as a enclosure though because it does also work as a enclosure for both m2 slots it shows up uh, as a sabrent sm236x nvme scsi disk drive uh, so that means it has the as media asm236x um, controller which is actually pc express gen 3 not 4 but uh, more than good enough for uh, cloning purposes. Um, I like this thing a lot. Uh, thank you.